Hey gents, hope you are staying safe and sane out there. This is a video I started to put together before any of the global lockdowns. Uh, we're coming up on two months in self-quarantine. Everybody's good over here, hope you are as well. But I think this video is still applicable. I asked some of my stylish YouTube friends who I know have a big focus in their life on fitness what their favorite workout gear is. I'm actually working out more at home now than I was when I was going to the gym four days a week, and I think it's very important to focus. Working out is not just important for your physical health, but also for your mental health. So I hope you prioritize it, take it very seriously. And when you have gear that signals to your brain you wanna take it more serious, you will do your best work. So here are the picks for brands and products that guys are working out in today. And if you wanna see my picks, just hang out to the end. Take it away, stylish guys. Hey, my name is Brock John. Thank you for having me back on The Cavalier. My favorite workout outfit starts with a great pair of shorts. I like these ones from the 10,000. They're the interval short seven inch inseam with the liner built in so you don't need to wear compression shorts underneath they have side pockets and a zipper pocket so you can keep like your airpods or your phone or your keys i have pretty slim legs working on it hitting the squats but they're still pretty slim and these are pretty fitted so i think they look good they have a nice silhouette but they still have enough room that you can do squats and anything else that you're going to do in the gym for shirts i think the best value are these uniqlo dry x t-shirts they're like a cotton blend. I've had this one for a couple years and, you know, it's seen better days, but it holds up. And for 20 bucks, I think it's a lot of bang for buck. If you want the upgrade, try the Bluffworks t-shirt. For shoes, if I'm doing any sort of lifting or interval training, basically anything besides running, I like these Reebok CrossFit Nano sneakers. They're like an open weave, so very breathable and uh, no drop. So they're good for lifting, like deadlifting and squats and stuff like that. If I'm running, I'll wear the Brooks Ghost uh, those are just like the running shoes that fit my foot the best. And then regardless, I like a good pair of socks. I really like these Stance Run Tab socks. They fit perfectly, they're very durable, and I think it makes a big difference when you have nice socks, especially if you're going for a long run. All right, John, thanks again for including me in this roundup, and until next time, stay stylish. Gentlemen, my name is Aaron Marine. I'll stop, that's probably annoying. They, they were 75s, not 15s. Anyway, my name is Aaron Marino from the YouTube channel Alpha M. John, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this gym gear roundup. So the gym gear that I am currently obsessed with is from the brand Roan. In a word, quality. The brand Roan has crushed it when it comes to making incredibly fashionable, functional workout clothing. They're shorts, my God, they're shorts. I am a freak about Roan shorts. And one of the reasons is because they come in shorter inseams. One of the problems being a short dude is if you go into the store and you just buy like a small, medium, large, they're gonna be like basketball shorts on us, right? Cover our knees. Roan shorts, amazing, different inseams. Also, the ones that I absolutely love have like compression spandex underneath so I don't have to wear underwear, which is awesome. Speaking of awesome, you probably noticed my headband. You're thinking, damn, Alpha, that is one sexy ass women's headband. And the answer is whatever, I don't care. It's essential and I love it. Gentlemen, you can get like a 20 pack of these bad boys for like $3 on Amazon. It's perfect for in the morning if you don't want to fix your hair and style it up, you just pop that bad boy on and you you are good to go. What's up, it's your boy Ian from the Fit Man Style Channel. And of course, with a name like that, I gotta give you my favorite workout gear. Starting first with the shirt that I have on. This is from a brand called All of Us Apparel, and what's different about the shirt is what it's made from. 50% cotton, 50% cilian polyester. The cilian fiber in the shirt recycles the energy from the body, putting it back in the body so you can keep on doing your beast mode workouts. Next up are the pants. These pants are from a company called Public Rec. These are called their everyday pants and surely you can wear these pants outside of the gym, but I've been wearing these in the gym a whole lot more, especially on those leg days because these pants, they stretch. They are comfortable and they give me that mobility that I need when I'm doing those type of workouts. My shoes are Nike Metcon 4s, very comfortable, very agile. And of course, my whole gym outfit would not be complete without gym headphones. These are the Skull Candy Crushers, noise cancellation, and it gives me the bass that I need to keep on working out. What's up guys, my name is Tanner Guzzi. Now, I like to keep it as simple and minimal as I possibly can. So on any given day that I'm down here lifting or hitting the heavy bag, you are going to find me most likely in a pair of sweatpants that honestly, I paid 20 bucks for these at Cotton On like five years ago and they've just lasted that long. Up on top, I'm biased here. 
almost everything I wear are the shirts that I helped Greg O'Galler from Kino Body design for his Kino clothing line. Really pleased with how these turned out, especially because they look really good in the gym and you can wear them outside when you're doing your regular stuff too. Now as much as all that stuff is pretty easy, you know, no logos, no patterns, simple colors, the thing that really is the most important are the shoes that you wear. So whether that's my power lifters from Adidas that I'm using on leg day, my Ultra Escalantes that I'm using when I'm out running, my ringside boxing sneakers that I'm using when I'm hitting the heavy bag, or just my classic pair of Nike Pegasus 8380s. The shoes are the biggest variation I see in my gym style depending on what I'm doing that day. It's also the place where I have the most personality that comes through. Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Let me talk to you about the gear that I work out in because it's gotta be functional and I need something that moves with me. So as branded as this is, let's start with the shirt. It is a J Crew shirt that has a little bit of spandex and a lot of cotton. It dries, it wicks away all the moistures. So this shirt, although it fits me, it doesn't bind against me. So we need to talk about the pants. They are of course bond related. These are the same type of Puma pants that you see in the film. They're a cotton spandex mix, and again, they move really with me. The sneakers, they are Nike, and they're Nike Custom. Same exact sneakers, the same type of sneakers that Daniel Craig used when he was working out for Spectre. You know, to me, part of the workout gear is as much psychological as it is physical. I've gotta feel good in it, and that's just living like Bond one moment at a time. Hey guys, George from Gents Lounge here. When it comes to workout gear, I look for three things. I look for something that's functional for fitness, something that looks good, and something that's gonna last a long time. So up first, I have this rain shirt from Roan. I love this shirt because it's breathable, it's moisture wicking, but it's also not paper thin. It has a little bit of thickness, and it's just a great feeling shirt when you put it on. So for my shorts, they are from Saks Underwear. What I love about these shorts is they have the spandex built into them, and the spandex are a little bit longer, so they come kind of below mid thigh. So if you're doing squats or riding the bike or something, your shorts aren't riding up and you're not seeing like way too much leg at the gym. And for my shoes, I wear APLs to the gym. If you guys are not familiar with APL at all, they invented a basketball shoe that was then banned by the NBA because it actually helped you jump higher and run faster. So they took that technology and put it into a bunch of different styles of shoes. This is their running shoe, which I love. Um, Great looking shoe, fly net up top, and the patented sole from APL. And last but not least guys, I never go to the gym without my egg weights. Um, basically what these are is you can order them in one to three pound weights, and you can kind of hold them in your hand while you're doing jumping jacks, ab exercises, anything that you do with body weight, it just adds a little extra weight to kind of build your speed up. I will tell you, if you run two miles with these in your hands and then run a mile after with them not in your hands, you're gonna feel so much quicker, so much lighter, and you know, it's just kind of a good way to train if you're trying to get quicker or faster. What's up Cavalier Watchers, Trav White here. I'm super excited to be here to talk about my favorite workout gear. I have two favorite workout brands when it comes to clothing, and then I'll talk a little bit about the shoes I run in as well. But my two favorite clothing brands, the shirt I'm wearing now is from Built Basics. The shorts that I love lifting and running in are the athletic shorts from Ever Forward. The reason that I love these brands, number one for Built Basics, the fit is phenomenal. It fits really nicely in the arms. The moisture wicking fabric from Built Basics is great as well. When it comes to Ever Forward, the shorts have the built-in mesh lining. And when it comes to running shoes, you'll typically find me in my Pegasus Turbos. I'm a huge Nike running guy. I have narrower feet. I love how Nike fits. Those are my favorite workout gear, and I will see you guys on my channel. All right, peace. Some amazing picks from those guys. Thank you all for participating. And I did do a poll on my community tab and you guys recommended some fitness channels you wanted to hear from. I emailed them, they didn't get back to me. I wanted to have them kind of intermixed with the channels you're probably already very familiar with here in the style section, but I wanted to get some more in there. But. Uh, here they are. Now for my picks, my point of reference is that my wife worked for Lululemon for several years. So I upgraded a lot of my workout gear very early on. And so I understood very early that if you buy premium stuff, it lasts longer, you feel better, it performs better. And so my baseline is already there. 
If I'm going out for a run, it's just a five inch short from four laps that I absolutely love. I found this to be very durable and comfortable. And I find for some reason, the shorter my inseam gets, the more comfortable it is. And maybe the faster I run. I typically run shirtless unless it's below 40 degrees. And my shoe of choice are the Hoka 1-1 Clifton model. When I'm hitting the gym or as I'm now doing a lot more workouts in my basement, I'm using a four laps t-shirt, which has 37.5 technology in there and has a little bit of wool. So it has a little bit of that naturally antimicrobial material in there, keeps you cool, keeps you warm, and I find that it wicks sweat really well. One of the things I love about the Four Laps collection, and it's the same thing that drew me to Tracksmith, is the colorways. They have a lot of color, and not everything is just black and gray. My shirt here is black and gray, but I have some of the tanks in blue and some of their other striped shirts. I just love the color that they have across their whole line. And that red, white, and blue shirt from Four Laps is the one that I opened up three years ago, still performing amazing uh, even after wearing and washing quite a few times. I do have the longer inseam four laps shorts, but I did just get these high leat shorts, which there's a couple of details in here that I really like. First, they're a little bit heavier weight than a typical running short, but they're not heavyweight that it feels like I'm being weighed down by some longer basketball shorts that I used to wear. The tie on these has this rubberized component to it that really helps it stay tied. I'm not crazy about the fact that it's outside on the front of the pants. I, that's like the tiniest detail I can complain about these. Actually, as I was finishing this video and doing laundry, I noticed you can move the drawstring to the inside of the shorts, so this solidifies some of my favorite shorts. But the material feels great. I've washed it plenty of times. It's short enough and it's above the knee that it's not restrictive, but it also just feels really good to wear. I do have a pair of these Nike weightlifting shoes. I haven't been using these as much since the gyms have been closed, but I have been working out in the high elite trainers. Uh, and they actually have three different insoles, one for running, one for weightlifting, and then their middle one for kind of functional fitness. And I've been wearing these just as I'm working out in the basement. Also my go-to sock is the Mack Weldon sock, but it's the air knit version of it. So it's highly breathable. It has arch compression, padded toes, and it just fits really well, whether I'm going for a run or I'm just doing some workouts at home. I really like their socks. So just as Aaron talked about Roan and, and the other guys picked like premium gear, I do recommend like if you want to take your workout seriously, spend good money on something from Lululemon or Roan or any of the other brands that these guys mentioned because I find that you'll take it more seriously. I right now I just have one kettlebell that I luckily got before a lot of stuff sold out. I actually have two more on the way right now from Rogue as well. I've been really liking their gear. So there you have it. Some great recommendations on clothing and gear to take your workout more seriously. Please go check out all those channels. I follow them. I'm sure you follow some of them as well. And let me know down below your favorite workout gear because I'm always looking to try out more. I have plenty in my closet, but these are the ones that I'm really gravitating to right now. And as always, gents, I appreciate your feedback support, and I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.